Evacuated families are getting some relief tonight. Scotts Valley is letting some of its families back into the evacuation area to retrieve belongings and their pets. Fox 11 reporter Scott Sheehan followed one of those families tonight. He joins us live. Scott. All right, so CJ, I'm at the Mount Hermon Road blockade where this is the edge of the CZU Lightning Complex uh, blockade air evacuation area that's just east of Santa Cruz. And it's also where people need to come to get through the blockade to go back to their homes to get those essential items. It's also where I met Amrick Niger, and she said the evacuation notice came so quickly that they forgot some essential medication and they couldn't find their four-legged family member. Last week, Santa Cruz County sky lit up from a violent lightning storm. The storm sparked the CZU lightning complex fire, which forced Scotts Valley and Amrick Niger and her family to evacuate. When we could evacuate, the only thing I took, as you can see, are pictures. All the pictures that we had, I didn't take anything else. Niger says she's having nightmares nightly that her house will burn down and she's praying for her community. I've never had to deal with anything like this and it just breaks my heart when I think about what people have to go through. Um, you know, my house is still standing, so I'm so fortunate, right? And I think about all the people who've lost their homes. I just, I can't. The CZU Lightning Complex fire is one of the largest in California at nearly 8,000 acres burned. It's also killed one person, destroyed more than 400 structures, and displaced thousands of people. Scotts Valley Police are now offering some support. During the day when it's safe to do so, they're escorting people to pick up essential items from their evacuated homes. I know it's a small kind of gesture to be able to help out um, when their whole life has been uprooted, but uh, we're, we're trying to help out and just help people get some of their basic needs. It's been an emotional roller coaster for Amrick. Her son just got married in their house due to COVID-19 precautions. A few days later, they had to evacuate. The notice came so quickly that they didn't get her mother-in-law's medication. Also, the family cat Gustavo, or Gus, who was a welcome gift from her now daughter-in-law, ran off during the chaos of the evacuation and hasn't been seen for a week. He's chipped, so, and he's, I'm, I'm sure I'll find him, but I just hope he's okay. The thought of a family member being left behind is another drop in the emotional roller coaster the fire and displacement are having on her family. Scotts Valley Police says they'll continue those escorts starting tomorrow at 8 a.m. As far as Gus goes, his family says they still haven't found him. They're going to start checking local shelters in the area, and they hope he turns up. In Scotts Valley, just east of Santa Cruz, I'm my Fox News reporter, Scott Sheehan.